What's up? We're back with some World Cup action. It's been a while. We're currently in the regular season, so you can look at the standings right now. Canada at number one, India at number six right now. And yeah, I'm playing against Corazon from France, so let's get right into it. I'm using a team built around Healing Wish Clefable, which is pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm fighting a Rain team. So this is definitely going to be interesting, right? So how do I deal with Rain? I have Ferrothorn, which kind of deals with Rain. It can get overwhelmed, which is the main issue. So for example, Crawdon with Knock Off, and then I'm, trouble, then I'm in trouble, right? So I do have a Healing Wish Clefable to heal Pharaoh, for example. I have Dragonite too, which could be good. So the lead is definitely going to be Pelipper, right? You, you want to get the rain up. So I can anti-lead with Zera. And even if you anti-lead me with something like Seismitoad, I'm not too scared of a Seismitoad out of rain, right? Is that the idea? Dragonite is really good versus rain because of multi-scale for one, and none of these rain sweepers can really touch Dragonite. You can have Icy Wind Seismitoad, somewhat uncommon, somewhat common, then Zapdos could do damage. Um, interesting, right? So I think my, I think my lead is always going to be Zera to knock off, right? I think I should be fine if I can deny entry to Crawdon, right? If I can deny entry to Crawdon consistently, I'll be fine. So they lead Pharaoh into... because they didn't lead Pelipper because of Zerora, right? So I don't have a Defogger on the team because I am a Spike Stack team myself. So I do, do I just knock off the helmet close combat? I always have Healing Wish in the back, so I can't afford to let Zerora get a little weakened. Do I go to Volcarona immediately? Probably not worth it. Just knock off and close combat looks like my ideas, right? If I knock off Pharaoh, it's also great for Dragonite because I can get damage later. We'll knock off here. Okay, Rocky Helmet expected. Spikes go up, Stealth Rock goes up, okay. I kind of want a Plasma Fist into the Pelipper coming in on close combat. Um, is he going to let Pharaoh get that weak? I could try it. Will will he let Pharaoh get that weak? Because he knows that close combat's coming in. Is it too aggressive to close combat here? So say I Plasma Fist, I take Rocky, I take Iron Barb's damage, he gets a knockoff maybe. I'm going to close combat for damage. Because I think he might go Pelipper. Ah, oh, this is so tough. I want to predict Pelipper, but... Will he... I don't think you ever let Pharaoh take too much damage here, right? Ooh, I'm cancelling, I'm doing everything. Um, let's focus, right? Will he ever let Pharaoh take damage here? The Pharaoh is good versus... Clefable for one. Even if he goes Pelipper on close combat, then I can knock off either Pelipper... There we go, we got it, we got it. Pelipper gone. Okay, that's great. I was thinking about it, I kept turning it on and off, we got it. Okay, Pelipper is gone here. I knew it, I knew he would try and preserve Ferrothorn. This is great. A rain team without a rain setter isn't very good. So we're in good We're in good shape now. Barrascuta probably comes in, maybe even... I don't think you go Crawdon, right? Seismitoad could come in too. Yeah, yeah, I had a feeling he was going to try and preserve Ferrothorn. We got it, okay, good. Now... Seismitoad or Barrascuta. I am scared of Icy Wind Seismitoad to break Dragonite. Uh, Barrascuta can come in just flip turn on me. I don't... so I have to... I have to manage Crawdon and I have to manage Rain. But I think I'm looking okay right now. Without Rain... with Rain is gonna run out eventually. We'll go to Dragonite. Ooh, I'm scared of Icy Wind. Should I... is there any like pivot opportunities? Like do I go Pharaoh first and then Dragonite? Let's go Dragonite. Weather Ball probably, okay. Is that, ch is that Choice Specs damage? No way, right? That's not Choice Specs damage. Is it? It could be Mystic Water? I think I always Roost in case of Icy Wind. Okay, yeah, we did Roost that damage off, okay. So we're stalling out turns, which is great. Do I go to Pharaoh? Do I do it again? This is this must be Mystic Water, if I had to guess, right? Should I go Pharaoh then? Earth Power won't be doing enough, right? The Icy Wind, okay, we're looking really good. Do I bother getting a spike up or do I just knock off for damage on something? They could be going Pharaoh as well, which I have to be careful about. But we're stalling out the rain turns, which is great. Uh Zerora is good, so I don't think you ever lose your Seismitoad here, like on a power whip, right? So you maybe go to Zapdos, do I knock off? I think I get a spike up. Okay, I get one spike up for um, 
it crawled on, bear skewed all those guys, right? Okay. Can I leech? If I leech into Pharaoh, who cares, right? Yeah, I can just leech, okay. 36. Special defense drop, leech, good. Okay. We heal back 41. Rain is slowly running out. Do I stay in on Earth Power? Hmm. I could stay on an Earth Power and Gyro here. I, d I did let Ferrothorn get a little weak for... I don't think they ever Earth Power, right? I don't think they ever Earth Power because, I mean, I never stay in, which is why they never Earth Power. So I'm just going to Gyro Ball for damage here. I think they Icy Wind. Okay, we hit Zapdos for 27. Not amazing damage. The thing is, Rain will run out this turn. My Clefable does have some special defense, so I'm pretty comfortable going to Clefable here. Okay, I can soft boiled. Yeah. Oh, don't. Oh, he got the pair. He got that too. Okay. Is Zerora free right now? I mean, I think they always. I'm gonna go Zerora here. On the hurricane, we dodge the hurricane. I desperately want to close combat into Ferrothorn, right? Right. I don't think you lose Zapto so early. I want to. Yeah, I want to close combat into Ferrothorn here. I don't think, yeah, I don't think Zapdos should stay in. I mean, they could roost on a, they could roost on a Plasma Fist. Should I, should I bulk up here? Bulk up is a winning idea, maybe? Let's close combat into the Pharaoh. Nice. Close combat into the Pharaoh. We have another one coming up. Okay, great. The predictions are working today, which is great. We should be picking up one more KO. I don't think you really do anything besides sacrifice Pharaoh Thorn here. Okay, good. Now, what do you go here? Do you go to Seismitoad, right? What do you... you Ooh, the... Yeah, okay, I'm not really sure what you go to here, actually. Right? That Seismitoad is somewhat tricky to deal with. I do have Healing Wish to heal up Zerora later in the game. We do outspeed Barrasuda without rain. Crawdont has Aqua Jet, which we have to be aware of. We have to be aware of Aqua Jet Crawdont. Ooh, that Swords Dancing... Swords Dance Crawdont could be challenging. We have to be just a little bit careful about Swords Dance Crawdont. I I, th I do think Crawdont comes in now. We have to be careful because Aqua Jet does a lot of damage to my team. I do have the Healing Wish Clefable at some point to Healing Wish on Seismitoad. If I ha if I if I choose to do that, I th I definitely think Crawdont is coming in now to Aqua Jet. Do I just go Pharaoh on the Crawdont then? I do risk a Swords Dance if I do that. This looks like it's 6-4, but it's definitely a chokeable game. Okay. Seismitoad comes in. It's going to Earth Power, right? I also have to consider Volcarona winning. He goes to Seismitoad, which is a little interesting. Okay. Now, what do I switch into Seismitoad? Oh, I have to, I have to keep track of timer too. Do I close combat, then go Volcarona? I could try that. Then I have Healing Wish later. Post Combat, Volcarona. Okay. 48, we get damage. Okay, we faint. Now we go to Volcarona. Can we straight up Quiver? I don't think we can. We Quiver on Earth Power, for example, then Crawdont comes in. Right? We always straight bug buzz here. I think I think trading Zerora for damage on Seismitoad was worth it. Okay. That paralysis on Clefable is gonna make things interesting now. Barrasquito will come into flip turn. Will it? I mean it will, right? Like it has to. Zapdos, which is interesting. I am slower than it, okay? I do have special defense Lando. We get confused, which I definitely didn't want happening, but we have a Toxic to throw off, right? Okay, I definitely didn't want that to happen. Can Dragonite win on its own? I do have the Healing Wish on, on uh, Clefable here, okay? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, now we're... 
Hmm, okay. So we always have the Dragonite, right? So I can go to Clefable, I can go to Clefable, and then I can Healing Wish to heal Dragonite, right? Or, Ferrothorn, no, Healing Ferrothorn isn't worth it, is it? Yeah. Okay, let's Healing Wish now. We get it off, we go to Dragonite, and with multi-scale, I think we have decent chances, don't we? Ooh, but even then I'm scared of... Oh, no, 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 okay. So do I Ice Punch now, or do I wait for later? Do I, like, do I roost until a, a, a miss happens, or am I risking paralysis if I do that? I think I need one more Dragon Dance, right? I need one more Dragon Dance for this to work. Okay. Now I think we win. Oh man, I'm shaking. I, I don't know if I'm... Uh, this is, I'm not sure if this is the right approach probabilistically, right? I'm taking too much risk with Thunder Paralysis and everything, but I think we've created a winning situation here. With Okay, Crawdon comes in. Okay. Ferris Yuta comes in, and I think this is the winning game. GG. That's a relief. I've had a bad run lately. We win the game. India moves up to 3-2. and two. France moves down to 1-1. One and one. And... Yeah, it's been a while. I'm happy to be back, and thank you guys for watching. I'll upload this pretty shortly after, and yeah, I don't know what to say now. Thank you.